So this is my Wacom tablet. It's been quite an essential for any kind of industrial design work or any kind of 3D modeling or design sketching on the computer. And I've really just been wanting to break it. <laughs> I, I want to tear it apart and build an entirely new enclosure for it. The build quality is great. I love Wacom, I love the company, great product. But there are just three things that I just, they, it's just been getting on my nerves. <laughs> First thing, there are two buttons on the side of this tablet. I get that people are either left-handed or right-handed, but I don't even use both, I don't use any of them. And I just don't like that they're there when I'm not using it. I know they don't take up any space, but it, they just, they, they annoy me. <laughs> um, number two, the cord. It's so awkwardly long. <laughs> I mean, a cord is a cord, but when you have it on your desk and it's like in the way of everything, and you're trying to work, it's just not, it's not a good time. So um, obviously I'm not gonna get like the Bluetooth version of the tablet because those are really expensive, but I am gonna try and fix it. Third thing, the pen. It's plastic, cheap plastic. That's not cool enough. <laughs> it's, an, it's, a, it's a drawing experience. And when you're holding it, when I'm holding it at least, my hands get really, really hot, especially for a long period of time. And you're meant to use this thing for a long period of time. And when your hands get hot, they get sweaty, and it's really, really uncomfortable. Plus, the buttons on this, they're not the greatest. Again, cheap plastic, and it just, it just doesn't look very cool. So, three redesigns, the tablet, the cord, and the pen. The cord is probably gonna be a pretty quick fix, but the tablet and the pen are probably gonna take a little bit longer. So, for that reason, this is episode one of a series of three episodes. Um, today, I'm gonna do the, uh, the cord. I'm gonna fix the cord because it should be short and sweet. Then, uh, next video is either gonna be about the pen or the tablet. Now, all of these redesigns are going to be intertwined because I'm, I want them all to work together. So, there's gonna be a lot of 3D printing, a lot of prototyping, a lot of design sketching. So, this is the Wacom Desk Setup for Designers, Redesign, Episode 1. So the first thing to do is to start some sketches. Um, I found some inspiration on Amazon, but I'm not going to show you because I don't know how the whole copyright thing works. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to start out with some traditional sketches on a piece of paper. I'm not used to doing it traditionally, I'm used to digital drawing, but we'll see how it goes. If it's bad, that's why. <laughs> so let's just put down some initial ideas for the chord organizer, I guess I could call it. Yeah. So even though um, I'm designing the chord organizer right now, I'm also thinking about the design of, oops. <laughs> Um, I'm also thinking about the design of the, uh, the tablet casing and the pen just because I want them all to work together because um, I want the cord organizer to be able to kind of clip in to the tablet on the back so that when it's on the desk it won't rock um, and then I guess the pen could also clip into the tablet casing. So just thinking about all of them at the same time, um, even though I'm just working on the cord organizer right now. So like one of the main functions of the cord, or of the cord organizer that I wanna have is that when you put it on the desk, um, it should be flat. So it shouldn't be any kind of spherical shape. Um, or like any kind of rounded off uh, bottom, I guess. So when you put it on the desk, it should be flat and it should be low profile because um, that's kind of what I'm going for. And I also want to have this function where you can kind of turn a dial, I guess, and then um, adjust the length of the cord because I find that whenever I'm traveling, 
um, then I'm always using like a, one of those curly ties to wrap around like 90% of the cord. Um, so it'd be super helpful to have some kind of adjustment knob. Um, so obviously that's gonna take a little bit of mechanics, um, a little bit of engineering. So I'm trying to make it as simple as possible because I'm not an engineer. <laughs> but we'll see what we can do. Also, I'm gonna be 3D printing all of these prototypes, at least for the cord organizer because it's a pretty small product. Um, and I have an SLA printer, so that means I can get crazy high detail, um, which is super useful. If you haven't seen uh, the stuff that industrial designers can do with a 3D printer, be sure to check out the video that I did about that. I'll probably leave a card somewhere. Um, so hopefully you find that video, video helpful. So right now I'm kind of trying to do a little bit of a cross section view because it does have a little bit of mechanics in it. Um, I think I need one dial to be the one that you spin. Um, so like I'll have a dial on top that you can spin and then that'll be like kind of inside another uh, like outer dial, I guess, and that outer, di that outer dial is probably gonna have the groove in it so that the cords can fit. And then in order for the dial to be able to uh, like spin the cord around to make it longer or shorter, I'm gonna need some kind of hook to like keep it in place to bring it around. Um, so that's kind of what I'm trying to think about right now. Okay, so I'm actually surprised as to how much I like this design um, or concept really. So I'm kind of tempted to make it out of metal. I thought this was not my intention at first. I 100% I was gonna print it on my, sh on my 3D printer out of plastic and that's what I was gonna end up with. But I am loving this design. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask a little company called Shapeways a few questions. Okay, day two. I contacted Shapeways yesterday to see if they can print magnetic parts. I haven't heard back from them yet, but I went ahead and made a cardboard model anyways, just because if they can't print any magnetic parts, it's not gonna be a huge deal breaker. I did some more sketches and I came up with my first solid concept. Um, I'm gonna have this kind of disc shape. I made a model out of cardboard. Um, the cord is going to go in this top groove here and it's, the cord's gonna wrap around kind of like a screw. Okay, so basically I have this disc. Um, I'm going to get rid of this inside bit just because I don't need it. Um, this is the well, like the first version anyway. So um, this groove at the top is going to hold the cord and this cap that I made, um, it's way too tall right now, but it's just gonna go at the top and it's gonna settle in just like that. So now it looks kind of like this. Um, obviously, yeah, the cap is way too big right now, but it's cardboard, so it's messy. Um, and then my kind of idea is that um, when you turn not the cap, but there's gonna be a dial here. When you turn the dial, then the cord is gonna wrap around this disc thing, um, kind of like a screw. So it's kind of hard to demonstrate like that, but the shape that it would make is kind of like this. So that's gonna be kind of a circular shape. It's hard to do with my, with my hands, but once I have a plastic prototype, it'll work a lot better. Um, so hopefully I'll have a plastic prototype fairly soon. It's gonna take about a week or so just to make sure that it works and stuff. Um, but this is the end of this video. Um, this cord 
organizer is taking a lot longer than I expected, but I want it to be good. So uh, this is the end of the first episode. And yeah, that's, that's it. See you next time.